uh, do for this one is prove by um, induction that this sum formula is going to work for every single um, term that we're going to have. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to determine does it work for the first term for our kind of a sub 1. So what we're going to do is say s of 1. We want to make sure that the sum works for the first term. So if we put it in the first term, we'd have 1 over 2 times 5 times 1 minus 1. Well, five, minus, 5 times 1 is 5, minus 1 is 4. 4 times 1 half equals 2, which you guys can see um, would be our sum of our first term. So the sum works for the first term. Now what we're going to do is we're going to prove that s of k all right, is going to work. And then what we're going to do is we're going to prove we need, we're going to figure out what s of k is. Then what we're going to do is be able to prove that s of k plus 1. Because if we can prove that the, the next term over is also going to work, then we can prove this is going to work for every single term. So therefore, s of k is just going to be the exact same. s 2 plus 7 plus 12 plus 17 dot, 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 plus 5 times k minus 3 equals k divided by 2 times 5k minus 1. So now we just rewrite our formula in k. And then I, now what I need to prove is that k plus 1 is also going to work. So I'll have s of k plus 1 equals 2 plus 7 plus 12 plus 17 dot, 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 plus 5 times k plus 1 minus 3 equals k plus 1 over 2 times 5 times k plus 1 minus 1. OK, so now remember when proving by induction, what we're going to have to do is prove that s of k plus a of k plus 1 is equal to s of k plus 1. All right, so this, ladies and gentlemen, is s of k plus 1. All right, the sum of your k plus 1 is written right here. Your next term, which we call is our a of k plus 1, is going to be written right here. And our sum of k is right here. So what we're essentially trying to prove is that k over 2 times 5 minus or 5k minus 1 plus my a of k, which I'll just write it out, 5 times k plus 1 minus 3 has to equal k plus 1 divided by 2 times 5 times k plus 1 minus 1. So that's what we're trying to prove. This plus this is equal to that. All right? So hmm. let's go ahead and simplify a little bit and see what we can uh, come up with. So if I multiply. Let's just multiply everything, everything through as best we can. So here I can multiply this. I'm going to get uh, 5k squared over 2 minus k over 2 plus, uh, we could do 5k plus 5 minus 3. So 5 minus 3, that can reduce down to 2. And who? OK. Um, now we can go ahead and to combine these, I could multiply by 2 over 2. Um, so if I multiply this whole expression by 2 over 2, therefore now I can put everything on under 2. So I could say 5k squared minus k plus, uh, let's distribute that, plus 10k plus 4 all over 2. right? So now I can rewrite it like that. And then negative k plus 10k is going to be 9k. Um, all right, and we'll get to that in a second. Equals, then let's distribute this. So I can do 5k. So this would be k plus 1 over 2 times 5k plus 5 minus 1. Again, I'm going to want to do the, uh, 
Um, then I'd have to multiply this. So this would be essentially k plus 1 times 5k minus plus 4. So therefore, applying FOIL, I get 5k squared plus 4k plus 5k plus 4, which is 5k squared plus 9k plus 4. So now when I multiply that all the way across, um, what I end up getting is, and this we can rewrite. So we can rewrite the negative k and 10k. Let's just write that as plus 9k. Now, as I multis, multiply this totally across, you guys can see I multiply the numerator up here, and then the 2 times 1 going across. And I'm going to get, again, 5k squared plus 9k plus 4 all divided by 2. And since you can see that we have s of k plus a k plus 1 equals s of k plus 1, we have now proved that this formula works by induction. No.